Why is the pain worse? The same? Uh, the same. But it was worse last night. Yeah, yeah, it was worse last night. Yeah, the painkillers just weren't working. No, they weren't. Excuse me. So, are they working now? Yeah. Unless I try and move. Uh, and this uh, fall you had, what time did that happen? About seven o'clock. Look, why don't you just forget the painkillers and give me something to finish me off, because I'm sick of this. Are you aware of any specific pains that weren't there before the fall? Yeah, but last night you were. You said your back was really sore last night. Yes, I know what I said last night, and I know I took it out on you, Lee, and I'm sorry for that, OK? Oh, sorry, have I, uh... You come at a bad time. Yes. Peter had a fall. The doctor's just making sure there's nothing wrong. Oh, dear. What do you mean? Nothing wrong? Nothing wrong? Look at me. Is that supposed to be a joke? Oh, thank you, both of you. They're lovely. <laughs> well, I've got one for me and Stevie here, yeah, but it's not a patch on them two. All right, now you two go and get yourselves ready and don't forget to brush those teeth. Are we going to school? I don't know what we're doing, but you've still got to brush your teeth, haven't you? Are we ever going to school? I said, I don't know. Now go and get yourselves ready now. Come on. Happy birthday. It's never going to be that, is it? Happy as it can be, birthday, then. Seems all wrong even having a birthday when I've still I know. Not... I know. So, what we were talking about before, about you going to France. Decided then? I can't, can I? They said I've got to stay in this country, so, well, I've got to. Right. And be prosecuted for pushing Tracy Barber. What else can I do? Make a run for it. And get caught, and then what'll happen? Morning. Hey, Greg. I uh, um, Tina said to come straight through. Yes. Get yourself sat here. Um, <coughs> firstly, uh, happy birthday. <sighs> Thank you. Um, and also, I've come to take some photos mm. and passport size if you catch my drift. Thanks, but you'd be wasting your time. I can't do it. Yes, you can. Hey, I'll tell you what. Why don't we just take the photos and then you can decide whether to use them or not after? Brilliant idea. Yeah. Lads! Freddie, Josh, get yourselves down here, will ya? We had such plans, me and Ashley. We were going to celebrate my 30th in Paris. Well, you can't do that, but now we've just got to make sure that you're not celebrating it in a cell. Come on. They're just that little bit stronger, so they should do the trick. Let me know if they don't. Yeah, we will. Thanks, Doctor. Thanks. Bye. 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 I've got a clue, have they? It's just here, I'll have some drugs. Oh, do them not work? Well, we'll try these. Yeah, but it wasn't just that, was it? The other thing he said was, you've got to take it easy. Well, I'd say I'm doing that, wouldn't you? Oh, well, if you're risking falling over just to help yourself to... What was it? Tea breaks. And you risked undoing weeks of treatment just for that? Deliberately, no. Peter, you've got to let other people help you. Look, would it make it easier if you came back to number one with us? Yeah, probably would. I don't want to. Why not? Because I know I'm an invalid, but I don't want to start acting like one. That's why not. Peter, that's your problem. That's why you fell over. Yeah, so I might do it again. I've not decided yet. Suit yourself. Yes, I will. Thanks for the offer, though. Yeah, why? Since you came back from seeing Joy, you've been... I don't know. Did you fall out with her? No. Something happened, though, didn't it? No, it didn't. Then what's the matter? Nothing. Except that I'm stood here waiting for you to get ready, then we can get off to the hospital. Hey, do you mind? Do we always pay this much for electricity? Yeah, there'll be more sometimes. Why do you think I'm always turning off the lights? How long does it take us to drive to that hospital? Ten minutes. And how long to walk? About half an hour. Which would do us more good. So, why don't we sell the car? You serious? Nobody sells the car. Not unless they're buying a new one. Don't need it, Ches. It costs us a fortune. And let's be honest, we can't afford it. Can you not? Of course we can. Oh, we're not going to be able to afford food in a bit. Every week is how we're going to get to Friday. Well, I have plenty of money, so... Here, have some of this. No, we're OK. We'll manage. Look, everybody finds it tough when they have a baby. It's normal. Oh, well, I'm glad something is. Oh, do you know what? I'm going for a walk. I'm going to clear my head. Well, how long are you going to be? I'll be back before you're ready. I'll see you in a bit. Oh. Are you really short of money? Oh, everybody is, aren't they? Have you ever heard anybody say they've got too much? 
Right, lovely. Who's next? Me, 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 Let Freddy go first, then it's your turn, Josh, all right? Always him first. Oh. Right, come on then, mate. Stand there. So she's going to do a runner, is she? I think she should. Thank you. Don't you? Well, are you just saying this because it was Tracy she put in us, Bill? I mean, if it had been anybody Steve. else. Steve! What? She's just lost her husband in the last few weeks. Do you really want her to go through all that court stuff and then get sent to prison? Well... And what about these two lads, eh? They just lost their dad and then you want them to lose a mum and all. I'm just saying. Well, try thinking and all next time, will you? Come on, Freddie. Come here. All right. Hiya. Oh, I won't keep you. I think we're all right. We did quiet today. And uh, what, what about tonight? Can I take us out for a nice meal somewhere? Oh, um, yeah, that would be lovely, thank you. All right, terrific. I'll have to check with Kirk first that he can babysit, but it'll be fine, he always can. Right, so I'll call for you at 7 o'clock? Yeah, OK. Right, yeah. see you then. See you later. Oh, now, here we go. <clears throat> Don't know what I'm letting myself in for as a man with a wife and child. Well, you know what? I've got a child and all, so does he know what he's letting himself in for? Who are you arguing with? Well, you, in a minute. Audrey, he's a really nice bloke. I didn't say he wasn't. And his wife left him. He's tried to get back with her, but she won't. So now, all he can do is just try and see as much of his son as he can. OK, Maria, if you are determined to make me say it. Oh, here we go. Yes, why exactly did his wife leave him, huh? Because things went wrong between them, which they can easily do with anybody. Yes, I do know that. And you weren't there. And neither was I, so neither of us really know what went on, do we? Oh, Maria, I'm not judging you. Or oh, him. I'm just saying... Please, just be careful you don't get hurt, eh? And I'm supposed to do that, eh? I don't know. Never look at another man for the rest of my life. <laughs> OK, I give in. Have a nice time. Thank you. Leanne. I just want to know how Peter was. He's all right. Has he um, started walking yet, or is he still in a wheelchair? And why do you want to know? I'm allowed to be concerned about Mama. No, you're not. Because it's not a concern you have for him. He's not the kind we need, thank you. <laughs> so what am I supposed to do? Just pretend like he doesn't exist? That's not a bad idea. As far as you're concerned, Peter doesn't exist. Yeah, good. Glad we got that sorted. Money. You know what you were saying about money? How you were short of it? I don't think I was the one saying that. Okay, she was. Ches, everybody worries about money. Well, I don't. So, come on. How much do you need? No, I told you, we're fine. I want to tell Fizz. We are secret. Oh, well, I got enough of them already, thank you. No, listen. I'm grateful, I really am, but we'll manage. You save your money, because one day you're going to need it. The only thing you can guarantee in this life, one day something is going to happen that you won't be expecting. Oh, you're back then. So, are we going to walk or drive? Uh, drive. Thought we might. See you later, Ches. Hey, and thanks for the offer. It's much appreciated. What offer? Never you mind. Come on. Mind if I come in? Well, I might do, yes. It depends what you want. I want to know what you've done to make Leanne turn on you like that. Well, I'd like to know and all. But I suppose she's having a bad time of it, isn't she? Needs someone to take it out on. No. See, more specific than that. Did it. Like something to do with Peter. Something to do with you and Peter. Come on, Carl, I heard you. I was just round the corner. Oh, listen in, Nicholas. <laughs> if you like. And it sounded to me like she was telling you to stay away from him. Was she? Now, why would she be doing that unless she thought you needed telling? Because maybe there's something going on between the pair of you? Oh, what a shame. Just, it was getting interesting. Excuse me, won't you? Hello, Underworld. Carl Connor speaking. Be careful with them, won't you? The ink can't have much time to dry. Well, thank you, Graham, but I still don't think we're going to be using them. <sighs> yeah. You've 
Claire. I'd be running away. How am I ever going to explain that to Josh and Freddy? Claire, listen, please. Prisons and courts, they're there to deal with bad people. Like me, for I'm instance. I'm not a bad person. Well, you're definitely not. Right, OK. Right, I'm going to say this. But you won't like it. What? What would Ashley want you to do? Because I think more than anything else, he'd want you to look after Josh and Freddie, which you can't do if you're banged up, which is why I got you these, and why I'm begging you, Claire, please, don't worry about what is right and wrong. Just, just pack up your stuff, grab them little boys, and get out of here. Well, you still can. Where were we? What were you saying? Should have guessed, shouldn't I? Guess what? Why you took such an interest in me and Leanne. Like what happened between us really mattered to you. Maybe I'm just naturally sympathetic. <laughs> You're definitely not that girl. Oh. Huh. Except where Peter's concerned. So what's going on? Been having an affair with him? Hey! You can't just come in here asking me whether I've been having an affair. You have, haven't you? No, I haven't, as a matter of fact. Oh, come on. I haven't. Well, all right, we... Something happened that brought us together and we became close. I'll bet. Then it's a bet you'd lose. I'll land you in a whole heap of trouble if I find that you've been expressing your mucky little thoughts for anybody else. All right. All right. So you were close. Yeah, nothing else. But you wanted something else. But he wanted Leanne. Oh, think what you like. Nothing I say is going to change your mind anyway, is it? So what happened? Yeah, I found out? <sighs> Let's suppose she did. Which is why she was having a go at you out there. Might have been. So when you were on the hen do, in the pub, and you came up to me and said I should have a little talk with Peter, a little heart to heart, you were hoping I'd spill the beans. You were as desperate for them not to marry as I was. Then we were both disappointed, weren't we? Well, well, well. So that's it. You know everything. What are you going to do with your newfound knowledge? I'm not sure. Have to think about that. And it's a birthday, isn't it? Thirty and already a widow. Not something you want to celebrate, is it? You do know she's planning on running off to France. No. So they can't arrest her. Little Claire, who wouldn't say boo to a goose, doing a runner. That's what they're talking about now. Well, and how are you? Fine. What are you doing here anyway? It's your day off. Yeah. Just couldn't keep away. How's Peter? It's fine. We had a bit of a setback, but I think he's OK now. Is he in the flat? Well, seeing as he can't manage to get himself out of the flat, I think he probably is, yeah. What do you want? I've been talking to Carla. Rather you than me. About Peter. About how disappointed she was when you and Peter got married. But I guess you already know that. Well, whether I do or I don't, it's not something I want to talk to you about. Peter and Carla, who'd have thought? Nothing happened. Yeah, that's what she said to me. But I don't believe her for a minute, do you? Yeah, well, maybe that's the difference between us. So you believe an alcoholic philanderer? Just get out, Nick. Peter's probably drinking behind your back, same as seeing Carla Connor behind your back. I said get out! Right. I'm going. You should think about it. Now. Both deserve to know the truth. Don't you think? Nobody round here is going to blame you for going. No, nobody. You'd be doing it for your lads. Everybody's going to see that. Well, I would be. Yeah. And that is all that matters. Come on. Come on, you're going to do it, aren't you? OK. Oh, yes. Brilliant. Right, Graham, get yourself streetcars. We need a taxi. Stevie's paying. Okay. You and I'll you back. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. Oh. Whoa, 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 the police out here, are they? No, 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 I'm just looking for Claire. Right, she's here, but she won't be for long, so... What? 
Uh, Eileen and others are looking for you. Seeing if you're going to be around tonight so they can buy you a birthday treat. No, she won't. Well, I might be. I can't just disappear without saying goodbye to people. Yes, you can. Graham, tell her. Uh, I really don't think you should be hanging about, Claire. And I think it'd be rude to turn me back on people who've been so kind to me. No, we will stay here tonight and leave tomorrow morning. <laughs> we can go out tonight, be fancy. I thought you were working. Yeah, not all night, though. For you, ma'am. Hey, uh, sorry I kept you waiting. When you look like that, I'll wait forever. Thank you, but I'm sure you wouldn't. <laughs> uh, look, listen, do you fancy a quick one in the rovers before we head into town? Uh, Just say no if you'd rather not. No, I don't mind. After you, then. <sighs> hey, it's Nick. Uh, just wondered if you fancied a bit of company. Company. <laughs> I'll risk it. Okay, mate. Come on. Look, if you want to go somewhere else. Look, Cheryl will be in there. I need to work with her. Do you mind? No, of course not. That's four pounds, please. Thanks, love. Thank you. But you always just nice agreeing to everything. No. So you better enjoy it while it lasts. I will. Looks like they're heading this way. Tell me if it's a problem. It's not for me. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Good morning, we join you. No, sit down. Mm. Just, uh, I was wondering, it might take Russ off your hands this weekend, say, uh, sometime tomorrow till Sunday tea time. Ah. Oh, sorry, mate, we've, we've made plans. Uh, excuse me, I was talking to him. No, we've promised Russ we're going to take him to see a film and then he's going to a party. Uh, yeah, more week. He's at school all week. And where is he now? He's looking after him now. Oh, look, we don't need this. He's at his mates. Yeah, and we're grabbing a bit of time on our own. And then I'm going to go and do an airport run and Cheryl's going to go and pick him up. Is there anything else you want to know? Should we find somewhere else no, to no. sit? Sorry. Okay, next weekend for Yeah, sure. Airport room? Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, listen, I just remembered a good guy. I promised to call back. Will you excuse me one minute? Yeah, go on. Okay. <laughs> I'll remember it like I said. <laughs> That's what I thought of you. Tonight. So do you think you can get yourself over here? And I'll tell you what I have in mind. I am absolutely sick of this. I really am. Uh. <sighs> That's it. I know that I should be grateful that I'm still alive, but being grateful has never really been one of my strong points, to be honest. You've got to be patient. Yeah. Again, something else I'm not really very good at. That's it. Hey, listen, mate, if you want to make yourself a coffee, do. I'm sorry, I've got nothing stronger. <laughs> oh. Looks like you've brought your own there anyway. Oh, I did some shopping. Sorry. What for? What are you sorry for? Bringing booze into the house. I didn't think. Well, even if you had a thought, you know, you'd know it's... That's not a problem. I'm sorry. Hey, I go in the Rovers, don't I? Well, I used to. Listen, Nick, if you want to have a drink, mate, just have one. There's some glasses in the kitchen. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm fine. Look, I was going to ask you about uh, Carla and Leanne. Oh, yeah? Oh, <laughs> I saw them outside having a go at each other. I just wondered what that was all about. Oh, did you? Well, I'll tell you what, then. If, look, if we're going to talk about women, why don't we do it over a drink, eh? Oh, uh, we can talk about them without that, surely. I can't. Come on, crack it open. I said no. I'm not going to. Hey, I'm the patient here. I get what I want. What if they catch you, eh? And she tells me it was you that got the passports. I know. You'll be up to your neck in it. For Ashley. Doing it for Ashley. Yeah, OK. Are we going to get to see Claire and wish her happy birthday? I, I don't know. All I know is I shouldn't left you. I still can't believe she bashed Tracy Barlow. She doesn't look capable. I mean, if it had been, say, well, you, Eileen... The super heavyweight, yeah? Uh, thanks. No, no, I'm just saying, then I'd, I'd be able to understand. But... Yeah, say it again and you will. <laughs> You remember Cheryl? Of course I do. Right. She's gonna come out of there, and the guy I'm on about, he'll be with her. 
and he'll be picking up his cab from up there. Yeah? Yeah. Right, that's when you need to be on his back, so here he goes. You must really have it in for him. Yeah, we took my wife and son off, mate, what do you think? Right, so, anyway, then give me a ring. And let me know what happens. I will. Front door, back door. Well, we don't want to start a riot, but well, what time is it? Yeah, should be quiet enough. So, front door and no cuffs. She can be violent, but her last fancy will ask her. I don't care. Right, come on. I shan't want anybody even knowing about it when I'm 30. Well, I thought you were more than that already, eh? I am not! Right, I'm only joking. Keep your hair on. Cops are here. Cops are here. Where is she? She's in the back with Becky. Right, time you got organised for bed. Cops are coming. No, they're not. Yeah, so I'm outside looking like they're going to come in. You were right. I should have gone when they had the chance. Yeah, well, we won't argue with that. Will you look after Josh and Freddie for me? Yes, of course I will. Because this time they'll come to arrest me, haven't they? So, uh, Carla and Leanne don't get on. No? And I think you know why. <laughs> well, if you stop messing about and you get them drinks poured, I might tell you. Gaming continues in half an hour.